Well, here's a question for you. Will you decorate your Thanksgiving table with the flower centerpiece or maybe some of the winter squash that's out or leaves? Do you get creative? Well, Christy Siefkin visited the Talking Stick Resort to learn how to make edible centerpieces using food right from your fridge. Take a look. Well, as it gets close to the holidays, guys, lots to think of. And making a beautiful centerpiece for your table might be at the bottom of your list, you know, along with the cleaning, the cooking, all that. It doesn't have to be, though, because take a look at all these beautiful flowers, fruits, and vegetables, things that you can get at the grocery store in your backyard. You can use all this to make an arrangement at home. And Christine Price, who is the head florist at Talking Stick, joining us this morning. You know, the inspiration here is what? To just use what's easy and accessible? Um, to use really simple things that are in your home, your backyard, your refrigerator, and let me just say welcome to Talking Stick Resort. Well, thank you. I, I love being here, and you've got a beautiful floral display. Are there certain flowers people should look for as they go to create their centerpieces? Um, well, you want to look for things that are hardy. Um, orchids tend to be really hardy, okay. and out of water, they're going to last a few days for you. Um, if you have some roses in your backyard, you know, potted or in the ground, just cut a few stems. You know, you can use water tubes to tuck those into Keep your yeah. yeah, and the, in terms of the fruits and vegetables, beautiful, very fall-like colors here. I see we've got some darling baby carrots. Yes. Uh, what else have we got? Um, well, I really wanted to do something that was a really nice, colorful palette. So uh, beautiful peppers, beautiful carrots. All those nice fall colors. Onions. And on that note, we've actually got a gorgeous arrangement back here that is all made of different vegetables. How did you how did you make this? I mean, you've got baby carrots creating kind of that flower shape. Uh, yes. The, very, very easy to do. What you're going to do is just tip your carrot tips up and then cut them through and then tuck them right into your arrangement. I mean, literally, this arrangement took me three minutes to make, and it makes a really big, showy, uh, you know, Peace. thing for your table. Yeah. On that note, we've got another arrangement this way on the table that if you can see inside, guys, it looks like limes. And is that dill that's floating? Um, that's actually carnations. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It looks like dill inside the green color. Well, and you could use fresh herbs yeah. inside of your cylinders. Like I said, it's really taking those simple things that you have at home and incorporating them into your table. And down at the very end here, if we can sneak to where these little apples um, and pumpkins are, these are just darling, guys. I love these. It's a, a place setting holder just made out of an apple and then the pumpkin here. Yes, very, very easy to create. You know, here at Talking Stick Resort, they provide us with beautiful materials and it's very, very easy to just take these things and do different things with them. I mean, what you really want to do is kind of think out of the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And I just have to point out that we're running out of time, this gorgeous arrangement with rose petals and also with lemons. And I asked the question earlier of Christine, how do you get them to stay submerged? And she said you've stacked them all and then you pour the water over top, not That's vice correct. versa. That's okay. correct, yes. And it keeps them fresh. I mean, and then you can put two or three cylinder vases or bowls together. Beautiful. And have a beautiful arrangement. Well, I may have to take some of these home with me to my Thanksgiving giving dinner and then there's no work involved because Christine's already done the heavy lifting. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. Hopefully much. guys this has inspired you to grab some fruits and veggies or flowers from your own yard and make some spectacular uh, centerpieces for your Thanksgiving holiday. We'll I see you like later. It. it does look fairly doable. I'm very creatively challenged and crafty challenged. <laughs> That's a great idea though. But it is. I love the yeah. apples for the mm -hmm. uh, place cards. Great ideas.